Evans, Illinois, off the lakefront of Lake Michigan. Ojai has anchored her defense to another Big East championship. She's excited, she's cool, she's calm, she's collected. She only needs this game, Northwestern and Denver will face. In we are underway in Evanston, and the Wildcats take the first possession and bring it in a pack is, of course, Izzy Skein. Along the left-hand side, through the pressure, looks for the outlet pass, nothing there. Back to the top is Koi Kendall. Looks for the streaking teammate. Shooting, scoring for Madison Taylor with the first goal of the second round of the NCAA. In recent memory, Maddie Taylor has had a spectacular sophomore camp. Skein skits on the near side of the 12. She streaks in. They're looking for the outlet pass. Along the near side now is Bolick. Shot in and goal. One of the lethal 10, Dylan Amante. The second goal of the afternoon for the Wild. Is being greeted by Molly Liberty coming all the way out of her cage. One more time, it's that quick passing that Northwest of the contest. Still got 30 seconds up, a player up time. Taylor, fighting through. Taylor, afternoon for her. Cats up, three to nothing again. That time, putting up three bodies on her shoulder and still finding one to force through to the back. And defensive player of the year, mm -hmm. Trinity McPherson, pressuring Skein and now going against Koykendall. Very aggressive player, had to beat her sister in the first round. Skained in the near side. The roll, the shot, the record, the best in NCAA. In this crowd here. Aaron Quankendall held the ball, ran it off, and delivered it to the department for the Cats. Yeah, that is a huge number, a huge start. Denver prides themselves on being one of the best draw control teams in the nation. So Northwestern really finding things out and they're also finding monster talking about Skane, Koykendall and Taylor but that lethal seven is that name that's been coming potential for Northwestern to cause a turnover Denver picks it up at the last moment able to keep it 40 seconds on the shot clock that loose ball caught some players out of position the grounder for Julia Gilbert we said it was only a matter of time it's 10 to 1 in fouls with Northwestern keeping it relatively the, clean not about the grounder really held back at the last moment it was Lucy Munro passing off point blank. Heller, three out of the six goals for the Cats. And scoring five goals in her day movement as they try to approach once again. Skane thought about it. There's that slide defense. McPherson not allowing her much space. Koykendall hits the crossbar. You heard that. The outlet pass back to McCoy. McCoy to Leesburg, Virginia. No whistle called. One on one. Quakendall, point blank, pump fake once, twice, three. All in the Wildcats lead, seven to one. Oh, the emphasis on the green cards, that's really happening in the neutral zone area. So Quakendall does the rest, using her as massive in this sport. That forcing a turnover, winning a draw, every little piece adds up. Usually at about the 40 mark is when Northwestern takes their run. They don't wait this time. Sam Smith out of Mill Valley, California. Defense. That time, Izzy Skane, a quick pass right there to Smith, who's streaking in the middle, goes low and high to low approach. Maybe if you sidearm, maybe if you ground ball it, you're you know you're avoiding that you know upper half of the body. But nonetheless, two minutes lining up now. 24 Gilbert, and there's the second. One of my favorite styles of shooting. One step just a few days ago. Also a team high point streak of 41 games. McCoy really setting things up at the top of the point right now at the 12. For the Pios, misguided pass inside. That was actually hit by Carly Mahoney. Interest day in Evanston for the second round of the NCAA tournament. Winner faces the winner of Penn and Loyola. That Amelia Bohai, when she's in the cage, is so aggressive, is a huge part, an integral part of their clearing effort. Constantino has a bit different play style. Skin with an absolute howitzer. Huge save to keep it 8-2. In Denver now, they're up to four shots, two goals. Can they add to this offensive pressure? They've shown of late, and they do. The goal. One, Lauren Black. Out of New Westminster, they're giving her any space. She will find her way to dash inside. That time, knocking low. Down to 15 seconds. 
And as you see, that same ferocity Denver started this possession with in this set right now. Fourteen to twelve was the victory in the Big Ten Championship for Northwestern on this very field. The pass in. Is he Skein? Liberty turning into a goal on the other end. Taylor to Skein makes it 9-3 at the break. One minute away from a national championship appearance that year, too. We're up big on the number one seed North Carolina Tar Heels in Baltimore. I think that is a moment that many of these players experienced. Said we will never experience North again. Frick, she was sidelined for that 22 season. Proving that and she has done must be watched at all times, getting one right over the shoulder of Palmasano. Some of the Northwestern lacrosse camps before her tenure as a head coach. So, you know, if you can get goats talking to goats, as we like to say, or some in the lacrosse world saying how Amanti Hiller reason. And mentioned Thacker, she's been in and out of this one. She yeah. started today, which did not start Friday. We kept asking Liza Kelly if she was healthy. Everyone around, mm -hmm. she said she was healthy, good to go. North but our Western kids are going. All smiles for the different Wildcats. Goal scorers for Northwestern. Three of them have multiple goals. Dylan Amonti is slightly separated, a mere six inches. Sidearm. Goal for the Wildcats. What team? Koykendall, goal number two. Amonti with two. Emerson Bolig. California native. Taylor has the lane, tries to dodge around. She has the slide against her. Jumping in. Sorty, Izzy Skane. Her whole family sitting right below us in the section, and every time she puts one in the back of the net, they erupt like it's the first goal she scored in her. Quakendall, Skane, Halpern, Sam Smith, Mahoney, Taylor. I mean, it's pretty much reading the starting lineup for Northwestern. <laughs> Might as well is just an read the whole roster. Dodging in. Sailing high, La Liberty. Winner faces the winner of Loyola and Penn. We'll keep you afloat to that result as well. Koykendall sails over the contact. Mm -hmm. Driving in the bouncer. Western Taylor, goal. another goal for as the well, Wildcats. We take one more look at that free position as Maddie Taylor puts one. Right hand to left, the spin. Black, one of the quickest players on the field today. Western dodging these screens exceptionally well, too, that Denver's setting up. That shot goes wide. Only one goal scored by Northwestern in this frame. Just taking a ton of time off the clock with every pass. It's so methodical. And you can see how well conditioned this team is at this stage in the season. Skane, the goal. Joseph and Patricia Skane all smile. time later this week. Right. Like, like we were saying earlier, Eli, with bated breath, waiting for the record-breaking goal. It wasn't necessarily a matter of if, but when. And then when it happened, the floodgates opened. La Liberty was a tournament team last year under Coach Meredith Black and the Golden Eagles of Marquette. Richmond, in their own right, Lindsey Frank, always a good program. It's not just, hey, are these good players that I'm getting in that you do in lacrosse where you, you, know, you stick the cross stick as high as you can. Hope to just flick it at the very top. But nonetheless, now the full on sprint by Denver. The shot off to the left. The few times Denver has missed a shot, it's com it's very quickly turned around in favor of that of the Wildcats. We see Thacker kind of sliding over, getting out of the way. Hand a goal. Martin Mary Schumar. Denver takes a timeout as well. And all smiles around. Simon, you won't have Izzy Skane out yeah. there in what would have been six years. The Northwestern penalty has been released. Northwestern penalty released. Pass on the inside. Oh, and off the deflection. Goal. Shaking it off. It actually. Rick, they take us to a break. Denver finally gets one back. But is it too late? For any time on this player advantage situation to try to net one, making things easy for Kara Nugent. The turnaround, what a shot! Ben Tresca, the pride of a Western squad. If you have Ben Tresca, it's that team mantra they've yeah. set for themselves. Pretty excellent, an incredibly aggressive player, so dynamic, so fast. And when she gets going, that team lights a spark underneath them, and they can get going too. 
just hasn't found that ultimate. And we recognize all the history we've seen today. Izzy Skein becoming the all-time gold record holder. 358 to 359 to immortality in the record books. He was able to hold through, limiting Denver to just four goals, two from Gilbert, one from Lauren Black. And earlier today, Penn defeated Loyola, Maryland.